While macOS is usually pretty good at picking wireless Bluetooth channels for peripherals to use, there are times when it becomes fixated on using a channel which has too much interference, which in turn will prevent your Bluetooth devices from staying connected. One way to fix this is to simply reboot your computer. However, as this does not always work, we find that it's better to restart the Bluetooth module in your Mac. However, with the introduction of macOS Monterey, Apple removed the ability to reboot the Bluetooth module from within the user interface. So we're going to need to restart our Bluetooth module using a terminal command. As our Bluetooth mouse is currently not connected to our computer, for this video, we will be resetting our Bluetooth module using only keyboard commands and the terminal. First, we need to open a terminal window. However, as there's no shortcut keys to opening a terminal window, we're going to open Spotlight and then search for the terminal app. If we hold down the command key and press the spacebar, the Spotlight search bar will open. Now, if we type terminal and press enter on our keyboard, a terminal session will load. As we will need administrator's rights in order to restart our Bluetooth module, we first need to type SU and then the name of our administrator's account. When we press enter on our keyboard, we are prompted to enter the administrator's password. After entering the password and pressing enter, our administrator's account will be given control over our terminal session. We now need to type sudo pkill Bluetooth D. When we press enter, we're once again prompted to enter the administrator's password. After pressing enter on our keyboard, the Bluetooth module in our computer is reset. Unfortunately, there is no indication that the command has worked. So let's try wiggling our Bluetooth mouse. As our computer and Bluetooth mouse are now using a different wireless channel, our mouse should now be free from interference and work more consistently.